Hi guys, this is Dr. Frajan. I hope you guys are doing amazing. Like always, it's such a pleasure to connect with you. Today, I want to talk about how to deal with toxic spouse relationships. How to deal with toxic spouse relationships, right? Or any type of toxic relationships uh, within your loved one, uh, uh, with, with loved ones. So number one, log it. As soon as toxic behavior occurs, log it. So what happens is when you log it in your phone section, put the date, what happened, how you responded, what ends up happening is you start to notice patterns, right? You can identify those patterns and then work on those patterns with a couples therapist or your own individual therapist as well. So identify those patterns, log it and identify the negative patterns. Number two, know the probable actions within family dynamics. So basically what I want you to do is basically create like a diagram right? Like a, a circular in circular motion and, and list uh, or label what happens, right? Okay, so it might start out, for example, this is just a scenario. My spouse is having financial issues. So here, my spouse now takes it out on um, the children, our children, then deflects it on the, uh, deflects it on the children's uh, lack of lack behavior in the sense of like not cleaning the room, and then it exacerbates and then I get involved and then my spouse and I start arguing and then everybody's mad in the family. Do you see how, how that, cir- that circular formation would look like? So again, knowing the probable action within family dynamics, right? Knowing if your spouse, what triggers it, right? What, uh, what type of behavior does my spouse engage in with my when? Uh, my spouse is triggered, right? How does everybody else get in, get involved in the family? Is there some deflection going on, right? Being very aware. Okay. Next, gaslighting. When ga- what is gaslighting? Gaslighting is when your spouse makes you feel like something didn't happen, right? It happened, but your spouse will just just say it with a straight face, like, "No, no, what are you talking about? That never happened. I never did that," right? So when gaslighting does occur. I want you to have, do a fact check, right? So write down exactly what happened. This is why the logging is extremely important when you're dealing with toxic spouse relationships because then you can go back and do that fact check and say, wait a second, this is, it did happen on this day and this, this moment. Exactly, this is how it occurred as well because you have it already logged. So being aware of those gaslighting moments and then when it does happen, say, actually, on blah, 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 you did this. And I, I wrote it down. So then again, you can, can, you can clarify the gaslighting. Say, wait a second, it did happen. And stop pretending like it didn't, right? Next, put downs. How to deal with put downs. When put downs occur, call it out. Extremely important to label the behavior. Like, don't put me down. Don't put me down by saying blah, 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 blah. And keep saying it as as, as As many times as you need to. As soon as those put-downs occur or happen, speak up. Even if your voice shakes, speak up. Next, have your own life, right? So aside from your relationship, you have to have your own life, right? It's healthy that way, right? It's healthier that way. You should have your own life. Your spouse should have their own life as well, right? Your different shows that you watch, different uh, sports activities that you engage in, right? Hobbies. And then you have more to talk about. Right, books that you're reading. So again, have your own life. Make sure you, have, you, know, you keep good ties with your friends, good positive friends, good ties with your family, right? So you have that support system. Next, you have to get on the healthy train. Don't wait for your spouse to make moves and become, and then you become the victim when he or she doesn't, right? So you get on the healthy train. So make sure you're doing, uh, engaging in your routines where you're flossing your teeth. You're exercising regularly, right? You are praying. You are uh, engaging in self-care in the sense of like putting your lotions on and again, getting your mas- massages. Get on the healthy train. Don't wait for your spouse, again, to make those moves, right? And if he doesn't or she doesn't, then you become like a victim, like, oh, and then you start joining the unhealthy train. No, you, you start that healthy train, right? You start it right? You make or break your family. You have to, you need to take ownership, be, take the initiative, right? Don't wait for your spouse to take the initiative. Next, have that I can handle anything attitude, 
right? Just to tell yourself, I'm going to handle it. I'm going to handle it, right? And if that means getting support from a therapist, getting ther- a support from friends, but just have that attitude of, I can handle it, right? Because I'm strong and I'm powerful. Believe in yourself, right? Because remember, your children are looking to you to see how you handle these toxic behaviors. You're teaching them how to treat how to treat you and then also how they should be treated with their friends. So again, remember, you are being, your family is watching you. Next, you go out and have fun, right? Don't get into a victim state. So in the sense that, let's say your spouse is pouting now and because something's not going uh, right for them in their life or whatever the next, you know, uh, dilemma is. You go out and fun. Help them process it. Be there, right? But you don't have to be there for seven hours every single day and listen to their problems, right? You can be there, but with boundaries. Same thing. So you go out and have fun. If your spouse doesn't want to go see the foliage, let's just say, and it's really important to you, right? You go out and plan it out and go and have fun. Don't get into a victim state. Right? Because then that cycle just repeats and then it becomes this toxic cycle within the family. Right? Once it's like, remember, dysfunction spreads like wildfire. So stop the dysfunction. You stop the dysfunction. Don't join the dysfunction train. Right? Join the healthy train. Initiate the healthy train. That's the goal when you're dealing with toxic spouse relationships. All right? Okay, guys, you guys are amazing. You're doing well. I am here for you, and just know that just li- li- simple, little simple techniques, little ways can change your life, right? But you need to take that initiative. All right, guys, take care. Have an amazing, amazing, amazing day.